Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Rich Reviews and today you join us at Hexgrave Hall for the Sherwood Forest Ferrari event. Now this is the first event of its kind and it's the first event of course at Hexgrave Hall so this is a bit of a trial event but hopefully if this does well, which it looks like it's doing well, we'll show you in a minute, um, then there'll be quite a few more events to come. Today's video is sponsored by Rich Reviews. Rich Reviews now provides services to support our viewers in purchasing their own dream supercar. Our services currently include pre-purchase inspection, support calls and collection video to document you collecting your own dream supercar. More information in the description below. Hope you enjoy the video guys. So we're going to take you around and show you some of the cars. It's early doors at the moment, so there'll be more cars turning up later. The first car that we're going to show you is this 458 Italia that's in Giallo Triple O Strato. That means triple layer, and if you can see it's got pearl fleck in it, this is a triple layer paint. This is a very expensive OEM option. And we're going to show you inside because we know the, we know the person who owns this car, so we're going to give you a bit of a, bit of a show inside as well. As you can see, it's black near interior carbon race seats and it's got the yellow contrast stitching which looks really good it looks really sharp in this car um, obviously with the triple o giallo strato color with the free triple layer paint it really pulls out and aligns with the triple layer paint with the yellow stitching on the side it's really cool and of course it's very much black inside so it's a near interior it really needs that yellow stitching to put a contrast to the black interior it's a very highly spec car as well so pretty much carbon everywhere on the car even carbon side skirts like mine which is pretty cool so Martin has organised the event here at Hexgrave Hall, he lives near this area and this is his 458 Italia. As you see it's Rosso Corsa, it's actually got the carbon fibre wrap on the side seals here. This was done by Reap Midlands and it's got full PPF coverage which was done by Reap Midlands as well. And Reap are here today as well, so that's pretty cool. Uh, diamond cut wheels, which is, and he hasn't had any marks on the wheel so that's pretty cool. Um, come round here, obviously private plate, he's got the sports exhaust on this. now. This is classed as a sports exhaust, sports exhaust pipes, and in effect, they're, they're, um, in effect they're powder coated or they're, they're plated with like a titanium colour. That's the only difference. When you specify sports exhaust, it's actually a specification with regards to the, the tailpipes being a different colour. And Martin just kindly opened the car up for us now, so we have a look inside. It's got the Cuyo interior, so the beige interior. So Ross, of course, we're on beige. This is pretty much the definitive standard spec or very sought after spec for a 458 and with the with the burgundy not um, not really burgundy the red carpets as well so you've got the rosso corsa on the on the cour interior and the burgundy carpets as well so pretty cool spec also on this car it's got a very unique specification ad where it's got the ferrari shields on the back of the seats um, as you can see here now, if you feel this, this is actually, it feels like a sticker on the back of the seat. But we're, we're told that uh, this has been verified by Grey Paul Ferrari, that it is actually original spec. So it was actually put on by the dealer original when the car was spec. Never seen that before. So very, very unique specification ad. And also one of the things that's, um, that I didn't realise, when you've got burgundy seats or red seats on the inside, the actual, the, the coating on the buttons to open up the, 
the, to open up the front frunk, so in effect the front compartment area, and also to open up the petrol flap is coloured red, the plastic's coloured red as well. I always thought that was black, much like if you look here, you've got the engine lid pull, which is in black, so I thought that would be plastic, black plastic as well, so that's quite, um, quite novel. And of course it's got red stitching around the dash as well, black, black dash interior, so black leather on the dash with red stitching to contrast and to pull in line and align with the Rosso Corsa external body colour. So moving on down to this 458 Italia here, Rosso Corsa body colour, and it's actually got the matte grey seal covers or paint or they're painted in matte grey and that would have been original specification because that was original option from the factory you could spec that you could have it in rosso course or you could have it in matte grey there was really no other options apart from having it in total carbon fibre so moving on down to the last ferrari at the end of the line here we've got ferrari mondial quattro valve and the key thing about this car is it's rosso corsa on on um i'm not too sure what this um, specification of internal lever is called on this mondial but if you look the key thing about the mondial is it's a two plus two so it's actually classed as a four-seater. This is why the Mondial was produced. So it's like produced as a family car. So if a two-seater um, didn't quite cover your options because you had children, you could buy the Mondial and still buy a Ferrari. So moving down the line to cover off the remainder cars that are here at the moment, we've got Reap Midlands 488 GTB. And Reap Midlands provide full PPF, um, various different options with regards to PPF to provide color wrapping as well. And uh, if you didn't know already, then my car was fully PPF and fully paint corrected by by Reap Midlands, so my car was trailer for Reap Midlands. They they fitted the full PPF. Um, they installed the full PPF, and then I had the car, and then I actually drove the car back from them. So if you want to see more details of that, that catch my videos below. We provided full coverage of that. Moving further on down the line, we've got a 430 Scuderia here. This is in Rosso Scuderia, we believe. It's not quite um, Dino the colouring. It's more got more of an orange colouring in it than Rosso Corsa. So we believe it's uh, Rosso Scuderia. Interesting number plate, 41V. You see it's quite highly spec. It's got the standard Scuderia specifications. So you've got the carbon fiber wing mirrors and the race seats, race bucket seats. And of course it's got the, the three point harness inside as well, which could be optioned, which I think is the right option to have for these types of cars like the Challenge Stradale, the Scuderia, and of course the Specialis. We've just got a 458 Italia. It's just leaving now. He's got to shoot off. Come down here, we've got a Grigio 458 Italia. It's a general Grigio colour inside, the general Grigio bodywork colour. And with regards to the inside, it's got the comfort seats with the grey down the centre of the comfort seats and a lighter colour on the, on the external side. Um, and it's called, it's what we would call a classic specification. It's actually a left-hand drive as well, which is quite unique. Um, so not a right-hand drive car, so not a European car. Grigio wheels, so it's pretty much a grey specification, even, even the side of the seals are grey. Further along the line, we've got a Ferrari 328 here in Rosso Corsa. We have a Crema interior. And moving along here to the last car in this sequence, we've got a 599 GTB. Really showcasing the V12 here. What a phenomenal engine. You can see here how far set back the engine is. With This is the actual plenum chambers and this is the rocker cover. So the main weight of the engine is lower down, very low in the engine. Obviously it helps with center of gravity for the car, for road holding. And the car is substantially back behind the front axle. So this is a front, what's called a front mid-engined car, where the weight of the, weight of the engine is behind the front axle. And it's taking it more into an orientation of a mid-engine balance. So we're just going to talk to you a little bit about Hexgrave Hall. I've never personally held, heard of Hexgrave Hall before. Obviously, it's situated in the Sherwood Forest area, well known for Robin Hood, of course. I'm still from the rich, give to the poor. <laughs> um, this is the Cheeky Pig Cafe that I mentioned in the advert for, for this event. Um, so these, these, are, these are providing all the fare, the food, the drinks, etc., for the event today. And they provide the fare for all the events that are held at Hexgrave Hall. So don't forget that, Cheeky Pig Cafe. So here moving into the car park area, we've got the GT3 RS with the Wysak pack. Now this was spec from new and still has the original owner. So you can see the Wysak pack specification of the GT3 RS, big wing, carbon fiber, and it's got the old style wing where the actual bracketing fits underneath the wing, not on top. So it's not like the gooseneck configuration that you have on the new GT3 RSs. I believe this has got 20, 22 or 23 inch wheels. As you can see, it's got Pilot Sport Cup 2 Michelin's um, race tires, in effect track tires on the car, yellow calipers, metallic gray paint, and black near interior with the race seats. And the seatbelts have red webbing, so it contrasts nicely with the black interior. So 
So we're going to close out now from Hetzgreve Hall. It's been a great event here, the, the Ferrari Sherwood Forest event. It's the first of its kind, and I'm sure there'll be, there'll be more to come. Hopefully it's going to be an annual event going forward, maybe more frequent than that. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Gr plenty of great content to come. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.